Hey, welcome back. So we're on the last exercise for detailed drawings. This is updating the drawing. So for our first step, we want to go ahead and create a copy of this document right here. This is what the document should look like. It should already have a drawing created. The drawing looks like this. And then we also have our part created. So for step two, we're just checking to see our drawing looks good. All right, so for step three, we're going to go ahead and make some edits to the main sketch. So go ahead and click on the main sketch. So double click, switch to our top view. And before we begin, let's actually change our units. Go to workspace units and make sure that this is in millimeters. If not, we will do this incorrectly. So let's just verify that our units are in millimeters. We're good to go. So now we're on main sketch. So what we want to do is go ahead and change up all of these units right here. Let's start out with our largest value, which is this 200. We're switching this to 225. This value 127 will be 150. This 88.9 will be 90. Our value of 50 will be reduced down to 45. This angle right here will be a value of 60. Enter. Now we're going to zoom into this region right here. This 15.74 will have a value of 20. And this value will be 12. Just to verify, we have our units here. We have 225, 150, 90, 45, 20, 12, and then 60. So at this point, let's go ahead and accept this. So to verify our changes, hit undo. Now let's go forward. And notice we made our device bigger. For step four, we're going to make this sketch line larger. So go to bolt circle sketch. So this is what it is right here. So double click on this bolt circle. And this will now have a value of 185. And accept. So let's go back and notice the changes. We place our holes at a further distance from the center of our device. For step five, we're making the holes larger. So double click on hole. Instead of M12, we'll be using M16. And go ahead and hit the check mark. Notice all of our holes became bigger. So we go before and after. For step six, we're going to edit the height feature. So select height feature. Let's view this from a different angle. We're changing the depth to a value of 75. Accept. So in this situation, if we go back, we can see that our piece was shorter before and now it is longer. For step seven, we're adjusting the wall height. So double click on wall height feature. We're going to change our value to 75 and accept. So once again, if we go back and we go forward, we see our wall height difference. For step eight, we're moving the rollback bar. So we're scrolling down here. We're clicking and holding onto the rollback bar and we're moving it up right above the hole. For step nine, we're going to add a new sketch. So let's go to the bottom view. Make sure you see this bottom. Great. Click on sketch. Select this bottom face here. We're going to select on project. So once again, click on project. Select this line right here. And then accept. We're going to rename this as flange sketch. So right click on sketch one, rename. Titled flange sketch. For step 10, we're going to extrude. So select extrude. We're selecting this face right here and then this inner portion right here. Notice we should have this cut out for the keyhole and our depth, our depth will have a value of 15 millimeters. So click on 25 and write out 15. We're going to rename this as flange feature. Except so go back. And forward, notice we added this disc right here with this hole. For step 11, we're going to move the rollback bar. So scroll down and notice if we move the bar down, our holes will go through the new feature that we created. We go back and forward. We notice that now we have our holes going through both faces. So now that we've made our changes for step 12, we're going to go ahead and update our drawing. So select drive sleep drawing. And we're going to click on this icon here, update from this workspace. And notice that three errors popped up. 
But if we see here, we notice that we have our updated drawing where we have a maximum width of 225, another value of 150, and this is what we edited earlier. All right, so for step 13, we're noticing that we have three errors popping up. So notice we have our first error here, and then these two center lines are errors. Step 14, we're going to adjust the value for this red portion right here. So let's go ahead and select this handlebar, click on this dot, drag it, and drop it onto this corner here. Do it one more time. And there it is. We have a value of 165 popping up. That is what we want. Let's move this out a little bit. For step 15, we're going to adjust the center lines. However, I wasn't able to do this earlier. Uh, it's asking us to drag this and place it right there. And we do the same with this section, but it doesn't move. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm going to select edge to edge center line. And I'm clicking on this line and then this line and our center line is created. So I'm going to click on the center line here. I delete it and I click on edge to edge center line again. I select this line and then this line. And notice my center line is created. I'll do the same for this section here. And then this spot right here on the top right. And now for 16, we're going to add a few more changes. Notice that I'm adding a dimension here. So I'm going to select on the dimension icon. So click on D. I'm going to click on this point here. And then this corner here. Now we have a value of 150. We already placed these center lines in the previous step, so we're good to go still. And then we're going to extend another center line, which is this one right here. So let's click on this dot, hold and drag until we get to this center icon. There should be a triangle popping up and then just release. And we're good. So my value of 165 is missing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right now. So it's a dimension tool again, I'm selecting this face and then this face here. My value of 165 right here is missing. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. So click on the dimension tool, select this face here, and then this face there. And we have a value of 165. For step 17, we're changing this view down here. So double click on it. And we're changing the scale to be a value of one to three. So this pretty much sums up all the changes that we do for this drawing. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos.